Welcome back, everybody. So as you saw last turn, we, we took a f two cities, and now we're pretty much just doing whatever. I'm also sending my thuggy up here to, you know, see how well these cities are defended. And so far, it seems the Mughals don't have crap to defend their cities, so this should be pretty easy. I hope they don't have, like, a, you know some crazy ass force that's gonna pop out of nowhere like out of the forest or something and own me but you know the French want trade rights and we're going to accept that I don't think my mic picked up my voice there but oh well basically I just said we're going to accept that trade right but uh let's see here you gotta love the flags kinda sucks they lag like hell though uh, let's see here. The Prussians want trade rights, but they want me to pay them like a ridiculous amount of money. So, I'm going to counter offer and see if they'll just accept trade rights, but they don't want trade rights. So, I'm going to say screw you, and I'm going to leave it at that. Then over here, we got that small Mughal army. I don't exactly care for the fact it's staring at my cities like, I'm going to invade you next turn. Oh ho! Then you got this crappy Mughal navy who thinks that just because they can, you know, enter my ports, they're gonna, like, somehow destroy my economy. They're not. They're just a bunch of idiots, really. I mean, look at that the navy. It's a piece of crap. The ruling classes have written a letter yeah, of demands to your national building, leader as they are unhappy with the riot. Yeah, see? Why Failure can't I just hand. kill them? We'll Come lead on, to an people. Organized rebellion Press the against exterminate you. button. Okay. Acquiescence at this stage could lead to Other than that, demands. I guess, you know, I can't Where ask for exactly much. Will you draw the line? Except the exterminate button? I mean, what? No. Yeah. Yeah. I seriously missed that exterminate button. It would make my life so much easier. Okay, I'm gonna send the thuggy up more so we can see, you know, where everything is. There's their capital, actually. We're gonna see how well defended their capital is. Hopefully, you know. Seriously? Yeah, their capital has crappy defenses. But since it's their capital, it has, like, you know, citizen units that spawn when you attack it, but. They're crap, so. It should be a pretty easy takeover, actually. Uh, yeah, that place still has some pretty crappy uh, public order because you know I just took it over. And here I am sending messages to my friends. Oh, yeah. And then let's see here. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, there's my Brahmin. He's all like, worship the Hindu gods. And the Mughals are all like, why the hell is this crazy following us? And, uh, yeah, pretty fun stuff. Sorry about saying uh, a lot, it's just that, you know, it's kind of hard to think of stuff to talk about, especially when, like, I have to talk for, well, how long is this video? 14 minutes? Yeah. So let's talk about random stuff now. How about one day in the future we will all be destroyed by a giant fucking insect that will mutate into a human being with like wings and like claws and it'll be all like, I'm going to eat the town, nom nom nom, and the army will be like, oh no, you're not. And they'll launch like nuclear missiles at it, but unfortunately them being idiots, they didn't realize that nuclear missiles can also blow up and destroy them as well. So they'd end up like, you know, trashing everything pretty much and they'd be all like oh no we killed ourselves but they wouldn't be able to say it because you know they'd probably be like obliterated into a thousand pieces that nobody would ever see again you know right imagine nukes existing back Rioting in this time has I mean, holy this crap, region, as that'd the lower be orders have become too unhappy. it'd be like playing rise of the nations you and you're like in the last the you know fucking age taxes, and your opponent's still like a caveman going ooh ooh ah ah and like he Whatever runs around do, with a club, and no. I mean, just imagine that. Some guy with a club running straight at, like, a line of people with fucking submachine guns. I mean, that'd be overkill. Yeah. And then over here... Eh. It's balanced out now. Agent found. Enemies right. Letter demands. Workers right. 
Oh my god, I swear to god, I am going to shoot these bastards. Why can't I just shoot these bastards? Why must this game be so nice to civilians? God damn it. Okay, okay. What else? Man. I really do hate those freaking civilians and their rights. Oh, look at that. There's a Moogle thuggy. Send my guy back since I pretty much got all the scouting I need and I'm gonna try to, uh, assassinate him. And it seems that the Mysores are at war with the Portuguese. So if the Mysores take those Portuguese cities, I won't have to worry about going to war with Portugal or Britain's allies, you know? So once, once Mysore takes over and I'm done dealing with the Mughals, I think I'm gonna, you know, bitch slap the Mysores and take their towns and then be all like, haha, I backstabbed you, and they'll be like, no, and I'll be like, yes, and then I'll like shoot their king in the head, and he'll fall over on the ground and start to die, and I'll be like, haha, you're dead, and he's like, fuck you, and then like, you know, somehow he mods the game to include nukes and the world explodes, but that's a completely different story. And then over here, Britain, I'm like, hey, you want a trade agreement? And Britain's like, oh, sure, bro. And I'm like, cool sauce. And then all of a sudden, as you can see, there's a lot of smoke coming from that damn city of mine. I love smoke. It reminds me of my childhood. Well, the good parts, anyway. Ah. So yeah, as you can see, there's a Moogle force that attacked one of my farms and decided to spend the night all like, your farm makes a very good hotel, and I'm like, oh, really? And I'm like, now it's time you get evicted, and then I'll, like, I'll send an army there and kill them, you know, say something smart like that. And, uh, yeah, my Brahmin guy's still all like, believe in God, heretics! And the Mughal forces are just sitting there like, can somebody please shut this guy the fuck up? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay. And basically here I'm just replenishing my units, you know. And now we get to watch the flag wav <laughs> I had just said something completely stupid, that was like a fail. Did I say flag? Yeah. Now we get to watch the flag waving of awesomeness. So yeah, as you can see here. Oh, here's the Moogles' turn. Let's see what they do. Oh, what you know, they're switching ports again. Or they're reinforcing... No, what the hell are they doing then? Oh, they're blockading my other port. Okay, I was about to say, what the hell is that supposed to be? <laughs> Then over here, yeah, they pretty much just decided to spend the night again, like, oh, we got us a nice hotel here. And now there, my Brahmin's all like, you know, what the hell? You're not allowed to use that hotel. Believe in God, heretics. Building and farms like, here will help you know, the population to grow over like, time. You know, they don't want to hear the Brahmin yell at in their face every day. And then, uh, yeah, over here we got a rice paddy. Gonna build a rice paddy farm. Everybody loves rice. Unless you're a communist. Then if that's the case, you deserve to be shot. I mean, what? I'm joking. I don't have nothing against communists, but I do have something against fascists. I'm joking. Fascists are cool, too. Then over here, I'm gonna build myself a gym. Mine. And, yeah, I'm pretty much just upgrading all these farms I forgot completely about. Which would have been nice earlier, since, you know, I would have a hellish income, but, whatever. <sighs> that's, uh, that's me yawning. And over here... Yeah, we ain't got much, really. Basically, the place is still the hell and back, because they're sick of repression. You know, I pretty much liberated them from a bunch of assholes who tried force converting them, and like, they're all like, Why should we follow you? It's like, you know, this would have been so much easier if I would have just shot them. 
but you know, unfortunately, like I keep saying, the game doesn't allow that. You know what, now that I think of it, what is this game rated? One second, let me get my case. No, that's why it's rated freaking T. What, are we not allowed to see people get shot? Also, supposedly it has sexual themes in it, like... Is there... What, is childbirth considered sexual now? Sexual themes or something? I mean, it ain't like you're seeing anything, I mean... It's just a crappy little, like, picture of a crib that pops up and goes, Oh, uh, air has been born. It's like, oh, okay, cool, like... What, is that worth rating a game T now? Come on now, people. Okay, alcohol and tobacco references, I mean, come on. What game doesn't have those? Come on. And it's not even like them doing the drugs, it's like fucking farms, people. <laughs> Ain't like you're watching some guy swig a fucking six-pack in front of you. But anyway, I guess we can't always get what we want. <laughs> oh yeah, and according to my case here, I quote PC Gamer said, This is one of the most important and accomplished games ever created, end quote. You know, they may have liked it, but according to the forms, this game was fucking glitchy as hell when it came out. And there are still some glitches in it, and I'm surprised these people even said it, I mean like, I swear, people who play video games for like those professional review companies or something, like... They probably just hire a bunch of bums or something that don't even know what the hell they're talking about when it comes to video games, and then they play it and they're all like, This video game is so awesome, you know? I bet none of these people even completed a campaign, cause like, damn dude. Maybe it was after a few patches or something, but like, my game still won't fucking run cutscenes, right? And it's not just me, dude, I even googled it. Turns out there's a lot of people Building with this problem. Basically, cutscenes don't play at proper times, and some cutscenes, when they do play, are like, laggy as hell. Like, you know, they're all like, that, the, king, the, oh, in, the, yeah, they like, play like that. It's like, what the hell am I watching? Yes, sir. So yeah, you over here, we're Sayaro. gonna go, you know, flesh out these Moogles because they're really pissing me off. And now the Brahmin's all like, haha, your judgment has come, heretics. And we're gonna begin this attack. And since this video is almost over, I'm gonna let you guys go here. And yeah, pretty much the rest of this is just a loading screen because for some reason this took a while to load. And the next of it's just me moving my units and you get to stare at a Moogle cannon. Other than that, I'll see you all later, and I hope to see you next time. Red power, my brothers, for soon our time shall come, or something like that. I'll see you guys then.